Hey guys, we are here at the Grammy Museum in downtown Los Angeles. This is where a lot of artists come and do showcases when they're opening an exhibit or just for fun. We're going to take a tour behind the scenes to see what it's like for an artist preparing for a show here at the Grammy Museum. Okay, so we are here at the Clive Davis Theater and today Mary Lambert is performing. So come with me. It says it's closed, but it's not. We are going to take a look inside. Okay, so right now we're backstage at the Grammy Museum in the Clive Davis Theater. And I wanted to point out a couple things, some fun things that you can see here. So first of all, set list. Usually artists tape these to the floor when they're about to perform. Sometimes they're taped to the backstage door. You've usually got a lot of music equipment, got set lists everywhere, things that get left behind, like maybe clothes. I am going to sign the wall. Where should we sign? I want to sign a place where I'll remember if I ever come back. So I'm going to sign by the railing, okay? Okay, so I'm here with Mary Lambert and she's performing at the Grammy Museum today with her new album, Grief Creature. And so Mary, What's more intimidating, smaller venue, big venue? Smaller venue, 100%. Really? Oh my God, yes. Like, give me a crowd of 10,000 people. It feels so big that you can't even fathom it. So I don't know, maybe I just kind of black out. If I can see someone's individual face and I can like superimpose what they're thinking or how they're judging me or if I'm doing badly, I, I, lose, my, I lose my mind. So I need to make sure like the lights are, like I can't see anybody's face or, you know, it's it's scary. Performing is the like for me the deepest form of connection that I've ever been able to um, find is like communicating through music and to have have myself feel like a conduit or like a facilitator of group therapy for everybody. So not only am I thinking about how this is uh, moving to me or healing for me, I'm thinking about you know like is there a 17 year old in the audience that that you know, is struggling to come out in the church like I was, or is, or is there somebody that maybe just got diagnosed with bipolar disorder that doesn't know what the next step is, or, or if, it's, if it's okay. It feels like, I don't know, it feels like community. This release of this album feels like the absolute great unknown. Like I just have no idea what to expect and, and sort of what happens. I just feel like there's no way I could lose because I, I got to fully express myself on this album and make it with people that I love and am releasing it with a team that I love and and I'm just so proud of what I made and yeah I love that it's gonna live out in the world I just feel so lucky sometimes I write stuff that's like too dark that feels like I don't it's not something I want to share 90% of what I write I don't share and so I'm very selective about what I what I put out into the world because I want that to be deliberate and intentional and serve a, a, a purpose. There is so much music history here. Yes. You have your own little piece of music history being here where so many greats, where all their artifacts are. It doesn't totally feel real. When we go outside, I'm like, oh yeah, there's our song of the year. What a blessing. Well, I hope you have a really great night tonight. Thank you. Yeah, thank you for chatting with us. Thank you so much. Perfect. <laughs>